Welcome to the Patent Bar MPEP Q&A Podcast. Today's question is as follows. Name two types of correspondence that may not be transmitted by facsimile. The answer to this question can be found in Chapter 500 of the MPEP. This chapter covers the receipt and handling of mail and papers. The question is from the 9th edition, Revision 07.2015. Depending on future changes to the MPEP, the question and answer may be applicable in later editions or revisions. Again, name two types of correspondence that may not be transmitted by facsimile. As shown in Chapter 500, facsimile transmissions are not permitted and, if submitted, will not be accorded a date of receipt in the following situations. A document that is required by statute to be certified, a national patent application specification and drawing, whether provisional or non-provisional, or other correspondence for the purpose of obtaining an application filing date other than a continued prosecution application, an international application for a patent, a copy of the international application and the basic national fee necessary to enter the national stage, a third-party submission, correspondence relating to registration to practice before the Patent and Trademark Office in patent cases, enrollment and disciplinary investigations or disciplinary proceedings, color drawings, a request for re-examination, correspondence to be filed in a patent application subject to a secrecy order and directly related to the secrecy order content of the application, and correspondence to be filed in a contested case or trial before the Patent Trial and Appeal Board, except as the Board may expressly authorize, an international design application, or a request for supplemental examination. This question comes from Section 502.01 of the MPEP. The following is a brief summary of Section 502.01. MPEP 502.01 covers correspondence transmitted by facsimile. This section covers facsimile transmission, including what type of correspondence may be submitted via facsimile and those that may not. The date the complete transmission is received is considered the date of receipt. Transmission on holidays and weekends is also covered. The receipt procedure for filing a CPA by fax is discussed. This has been another episode of the Patent Education Series Patent Bar MPEP Q&A Podcast with your host, Lisa Parmley, Registered Patent Practitioner number 51006. Please visit patenteducationseries.com for more free information to help you learn more about and pass the Patent Bar exam. Thank you so much for being part of the Patent Education Series community and for being here today. We're here to help you succeed. If you'd like to help the show, the best thing to do is to subscribe and share it with a friend. If you need anything or just want to touch base with us, please email us at info at patenteducationseries.com. We want to see you succeed and put the patent bar exam behind you. So again, head over to patenteducationseries.com for more free materials and information to help you pass the patent bar and get on the road to a new career as a patent practitioner.